Uh, good day viewers. Today we'll be talking on WAVE and I'll be giving an introduction to WAVE in our next class with based more on the formulas and derivation. Firstly, what are WAVEs? WAVEs are disturbances which transfer energy from one point to another um, and leaving the average particle displacement constant. What I meant is that for me to look at my phone, it's showing reflection of light. So I can see that because of light wave. The light wave travels from my phone to my eye, and my eye converts that wave to be meaningful information. What if I play um, a salmon? Now, I can hear that because of sound wave. So the sound wave transfer from this phone to my ear, and my ear converts that energy to be meaningful information. So wave transfers energy from one point to another, but they don't transfer matter to another. Now, to transfer wave, it can either use two methods. Wave can be tra transferred by vibration or oscillation. So to transfer wave can be transferred by vibration or oscillation. Now, if I'm having a transverse wave, Um, this is my displacement and this is my distance. So this is like a displacement distance graph. This is in meter and this is also in meter. Now, at this point, this is my maximum displacement and I call it my amplitude. And also at this point, we call this place my crest. And the opposite of crest is the trough. Now, the distance between one complete oscillation is called my wavelength, which can be um, identified with this sign called lambda. Or to get the wavelength, you can see the distance between one crest to another. So from this crest to this other crest is also my wavelength. So also, if I'm having a um, displacement or distance time graph of a wave, from this point to this point, for a complete oscillation, this won't be my wavelength anymore. This would be my period time period because it is a displacement time graph. But this is a displacement distance graph. That's like my wavelength. Then this place you see the displacement time graph. This is always your period, or from a successful crest. To another successful press. So period C is the time taken to complete a whole or a successful oscillation. And from there we can get our frequency. Frequency is number of circles per unit time. And period C is equals to time over number of circles and the unit of frequency is notified by as hz so that is to say i can say my period or my frequency is inversely proportional one over t is pro inversely proportional to my period t and my period t is inversely proportional to my frequency now finally We'll be talking about transverse wave and longitudinal wave. Transverse and longitudinal wave. Now, what are transverse wave? Transverse wave or they are perpendicular to the direction of the energy transfer. Like the diagram we drew earlier, this is an example of 
a transverse wave. This um this is up, this is down, this is up, and this is the direction of the um wave. So it is always perpendicular to the um energy transfer of the wave. Now, other wave we talk about longitudinal wave. An example of transverse wave. Before we continue, example of transverse wave are uh, all electromagnetic wave are uh, transverse wave. And another example of transverse wave is our water wave. But for longitudinal wave. There are waves that are like this. So they are always parallel to the direction of transfer of energy. They are always parallel to the direction of transfer of energy. Note that transverse waves are perpendicular, while longitudinal waves are parallel. So example of a longitudinal wave is sound wave so at this point the wave is compressed at this point it is stretched out so the last thing i'll be talking about today is our um wave speed which is equal to our frequency multiplied by our wavelength so you know we can modify this since our frequency is equal to one over period, our wave speed can be can also be notified as um, lambda over t. So these are the basics of wave that you need to know before we go into the calculation aspect. So thanks for watching to this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe.